Welcome back, you filthy exiles. So, in the theme of uh, putting together some build skeletons, uh, even though we don't have patch notes yet, and I'm fully aware of that, we can still sort of surmise what's going to happen, and I would be remiss to say that I don't think Ball Lightning is going to cop it too badly. Because I'm pretty sure it, it uh, got slammed with a nerf last league, so they're just going to have to nerf it league on league, uh, and I don't see why that would be a good idea at this stage. Uh, potentially this is also going to give way to a template that you can use for other various builds as well in relation to um, low life mine uh, characters. But anyway, uh, and, and this is very much a template. You can do whatever you want with this. It won't take very much to change it. But uh, anyway, this is a low life uh, saboteur. So what are we playing here? What are we doing? Okay. Skill-wise, we are going for a Ball Lightning Mine Saboteur. Now, the reason why is basically when you cast the mines, uh, as I've said in the past, map it to Q and W, they'll explode if you hold them both down at the same time. Uh, as the mines explode, it'll send out a Lightning Ball or the Ball Lightning. That'll go and basically hit everything on its way, and hence why we use something like slower projectiles. We want that ball to last for as long as possible. Now these characters, League on League, have always been very powerful uh, and are also really good as League starters as well because they're just heavily sustainable and easy to play. With this one in particular, what I've actually done is I have taken some feedback from the commentary in the uh, Thingamabob in YouTube and basically put together a tiering system of how this tree is. So we start at level 35. So we're basically going to pick up these nodes at level 35, and I won't go into too much detail. Um, you know, at level 35. Now the gearing won't change, but I'll, I'll talk about that shortly. Basically, you just want to pick up whatever's going to get you early damage, what's going to get you so that early ES and early early life. Now that being said, the gearing we've got selected is the expensive gear, and we're going to wind that back shortly. Now at level 60, uh, that's when you I think you clear. Um, oh. That might be... That's usually like Act 9 uh, into Act 10. Um, that's This is basically where you're going to start shifting through the tree. You're going to be moving towards this um, Zealot's Oath node. If you haven't already gotten it, um, for any other reason, if you want to respect across the board. Uh, and then you're going to be picking up these more outer nodes now um, because we're moving up in levels. Uh, and then we're going to get to level 70. We're going to start... We've finally got low life. We've gotten our Zealot's Oath at level 70. Uh, pain attunement. Uh, so, you know, we're doing that extra 30% spell damage. And, you know, we're, we're branching out still. And then level 96, which is where you'll see the tree as it is. We've picked up everything that we need. We're at 8,500 ES. We've got all the gearing that we want at that level. By level 96, you usually have most items too, unless you're uh, not too good at itemization. Uh, anyway. Uh, this is so this will be in in the pob that i'll put in the description so you'll be able to see the different level breakdowns and what to pick on the tree as you progress uh for the first level um being level 35. uh so the next thing uh with this build so skills uh i've obviously how i've respect the tree this was from one of my other trees uh, that i did last league for my gc miner Respect the tree to basically wind everything down to base level gems, so there's no awakened gems in here. So once you get awakened gems, it'll be even better. Now qualities uh, are just quality level 20. That's going to be relatively easy with the heist league. As heist just made it easy to quality everything. Now you're not necessarily going to have aspect of the spider, uh, so we'll remove that as well. Um, that's not something that we have straight away. Uh, Skitterbots, uh, Blasphemy, um, Enlighten, rah, 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 that you're definitely going to be using that. I'll explain that in a few minutes with the gearing. Uh, clarity and Precision, so obviously um, this is a low life build, so we're going to be blood magicking, blood magicking Clarity and Precision. That's going to give us more crit, it's going to give us uh, more damage, it's going to make us more meaty and powerful. And then we're going to run our other three base auras in our, in our shield, and we'll talk about that very shortly, which is Zealotry, Wrath, and Vile Discipline. This is all going to buff up your energy shield regeneration and every and everything every which way. And also your spell damage with Zealotry and Wrath is obviously lightning damage. So that's going to do some big things for you. And then when you take on bosses, you're going to use Val Righteous Fire. Um, you can get those in corrupted side areas all throughout the game. So not a very hard one to get. 
And then your mortal call set up, you're going to, the wave of conviction when you get hit, you know, we're talking about 8,500 ES, so, you know, it's not like you can't afford to get hit uh, with a mortal call. Uh, and these are just going to be low levels triggering at number one, so your, uh, your wave uh, of conviction is constantly procking. Now, how do we achieve all this gearing wise? So the trees and the POB, the skills, pretty straightforward, nothing crazy here. Items, this is where it's important. So I've actually re-kitted this with two trees. The first or the most expensive tree is obviously going to include your standard stuff like, you know, your chevrons wrapping, six link, and you're not going to get that straight away. And machine emits are not fucking cheap um, items to get. And obviously you've got bubble faith here as well. Now you'll also see in the configuration on this build, pretty much you just have lightning exposure, you're on low life, you generate power charges, but that's pretty much it. Have you killed recently? Yes. Uh, enemies are going to be shocked and chilled. That's going to be from the skitter bots. Um, and then the uh, enemies and bosses are going to be shaper. So this is shape and DPS as well. Nothing else is ticked on. No other bullshit. So we're all good. Uh, so items. So yeah, prison guard, um, the chevrons wrappings, machine emits are going to be the two most expensive items in this build. Second only to the bottled faith. Now I've left the bottled faith in the expensive version. Um, because realistically, you know, you'll eventually get that, you'll eventually farm that, and this is the expensive iteration. But there is a way to do this on the budget, and you can sub out Chevron's wrappings for something that will get you through into the end game and still give you good tankability and let you play low life. And here we have the cheap itemization. So there is a little bit of balancing that needs to go on here, uh, and that's just going to be in your rare items that you're going to use. So you just need a little more, 10 more strength, or what's that, 13 more strength. Um, and a little bit more lightning resist but aside from that you're doing pretty well now that being uh, held in mind ring 2 you're not going to get one of these rings straight away but really there's nothing too facetious going on with this just don't roll it with lightning damage or lightning damage to attacks you'll be fine uh, so outside of that basically the other thing that you'll notice between the two trees the cheap and the expensive is some of the crafted items I've wound back so the belt the uh, gloves wound back, the body arm has changed, and also the boots have changed as well, obviously because you know, we can't afford boots with aspect of the spider as we're leveling and mapping at endgame. So anyway, to do the cheap version, uh, you can pretty much craft this one. This one isn't anything too crazy. It's very much a craftable one. Uh, and the way that you would do that is just through essence of, I think, woe or essences of envy or uh, whatever the high tier lightning damage essence is to get that spell damage or, or you know spell damage essences or whatnot. So anyway, the Vertex, not necessarily a cheaper item, but it is a cheap option that you can take. And it's definitely not a helmet that, um, so the other other helmet is, you know, that, that was on this one is, is, has 352 ES and it's quite min and maxed. Uh, whereas, you know, we're looking at cheap version here, the uh, Vertex is a pretty affordable option. You're going to jam it in, it's going to do well. Uh, it's going to get you to end game and get you the chaos resist that you need as well. So, how do we sub out uh, Chevron's wrapping? Now, the big thing about Chevron's wrapping for anyone who doesn't play low life, so low life is where you reserve your health um, and basically you have maximum chaos resist, but you need an item that's going to, or you get as much chaos resist as you can, but you need an item that's going to block chaos from directly hitting your health pool because the way that chaos damage works is it circumvents energy shield and hits directly your health pool. So if you try and run low life without a, um, a chevron's wrapping, or there's a, also a, uh, a buckler that you can use as well, or a shield, then you're gonna die instantly, essentially. So the way that you get around that is you can actually run a Solaris Lorica. Now, it doesn't have any ES on it, it's just got armor, but Chaos Damage does not bypass Energy Shield and it actually reduces the total Chaos Damage taken, which is quite good, and also reduces Chaos Damage dot. Now, this, you should be able to get a six link pretty easily. Will it be easy to get the right gem colors? Not necessarily, but not impossible. It's easier to roll, uh, to get to Delve 200 and roll like a few, about a thousand chromes than it is to afford a Chevron's from the get-go. That also being said, you're probably not going to get five to seven Exalt to get the Chevron's you want and you're still going to have to roll your Chevron sockets. So not impossible to do and a much easier option at the very, very early game to get the right itemization to be able to run low life. Uh, this is how you run a cheap 
low life build at the start of a league or a league start a low life build um, so it's not impossible you don't need to go stretch shavs you can do it via other means now gloves just going to get some basic ratchet gloves so not basic ratchet gloves with some good lightning resist and fire resist rolls extra energy shield and if you can get lightning damage on them even better nothing crazy Sintrex I've put on this build simply because Sintrex are usually pretty cheap they give you a shit ton of energy shield early up, 30% uh, movement speed, and pretty much if you look at any low life build, they're going to use Sintrex as a base item until you can craft something a little better. It's also going to give you dex, it's going to give you intelligence as well, and that's always welcome. Presence of Chiula won't be available straight away, but you know this one is pretty much a given, you're going to have to get it either way. They're usually not very expensive in League because everyone does um, Chiula runs trying to get the best Triula items and presences of Triula <laughs> tend to drop a lot um, or at least the uh, the, the parts to make uh, presences of Triula so they set, tend to always be in abundance uh, within the first week or so in a league you may not get it in the first day or the first three or four days but you'll get it by day five or six normally um, you know it's not a difficult item to get you could even potentially farm it yourself uh, ring wise you're just going to get rings that are going to give you lightning damage energy shield and resistances and any other attributes you need uh, this one here has negative one prefix plus one suffix don't worry about that you're not going to get a ring like that straight away period um, that's a pretty out there ring so that one is a little bit of a, a, a throw out on this one but don't stress too much now belt wise beta breath always reliable on low life builds you can basically get it at any point during the game they drop frequently they're very cheap and they're a good item for low life builds gives you a good amount of energy shield 20 percent increased es and uh yeah so pretty much flask dying sun we can take that away but that's not going to hugely hinder us but what it does do is it allows us to fire two more projectiles and that's going to do a hell of a lot for your um for your build as far as damage output it's just going to give you more projectiles in each mine uh, at series promise is pretty standard you get it straight up um, you can get it pretty much early game because you know, you're just farming at series standard at series runs from uh, sacrifice fragments uh, energy within not a difficult one to get um, yeah pretty much you can get any energy within divine orbit it's all good uh, cobalt jewels they're just increasing uh, mine damage and crit multi and es and any uh, any uh, any other resistances you need to account for now the small cluster is just an energy from naught that's not an expensive cluster that's just to push up your uh, your energy shield a little bit more so with the cheap version of this build and obviously you're going to need a prism guardian that's a given so for low life you essentially can only do that with a prism guardian shield and that's why this can run six or seven auras because of that reason so we're going to be reserving all of our health and then we're going to be reserving mana for our skitter bites and then pretty much we're good to just throw mines and do our thing and have lightning balls flying around the place now dps wise we'll just tick off consecrated ground yeah, your lightning balls for each lightning ball that goes off and that being said you're throwing around 19 mines <clears throat> at least one lightning ball from each mine that means you're going to have 19 times 157,000 dps flying around the map with relatively cheap gear and nothing crazy going on in this area too uh that's pretty damn good um so yeah uh and the other thing that you can do uh if you want to get um if you want to get frenzy charges generating is you can actually craft a cast when trigger a cast when cast spell when triggered on your wand and then you can run cold snap on the wand and that will give you uh, frenzy charges and that's going to speed you up give you more damage give you more um dexterous movements or evasions so you don't get hit as much as well but basically with low with low shit ass gear as far as the chest plate goes you're going to be running around with six and a half thousand es which is ample amounts of es at, at an early game phase to get you up to getting your shavs yeah, you got good resistances, maxed out chaos resist, everything going on. So at least, you know, if you're slow in getting all your gear, you're going to be able to play like this and get to end game pretty quickly. And you're going to do tons of damage anyway. So, you know, we're talking about you can, you'll be able to drop Awakener with that at this stage. Uh, could, just because of the way that Lightning Ball DPS works. Anyway, um, so yeah, basically in the items, if you hit Manage, you'll be able to see expensive and cheap option for when you get to that point. Um, just click this that'll amp that up 
you know, expensive option, and then you know you're going to click click on consecrated ground because you're going to be using a bottle of faith with that one. It's going to give you another fifty to sixty thousand DPS on top, and that's how uh, fickle it can be with uh, just the way that these trees are built. Anyway, will the patch have any significant impact on this? No idea at this stage. I know everyone's going to slay me in the comments and go, you, "You're too early with this." To be honest with you. It's really not going to get impacted that much. It's a pretty powerful spell. And to be honest with you, you might actually be able to convert it into like a Firestorm mine build or something like that with the way that they're buffing it. They may even be buffing lightning, uh, ball lightning, to be honest with you. Uh, whether or not they're nerfing any of the ES gear, it's unlikely. They would need to completely re-engineer all of this gear so you can't play low life. And I very highly doubt they're going to do that. But hey, they may do it. This is just something to get you, to get you started at the end of the day. Anyway, if this video helps, uh, like and sub, or if it gives you ideas on what to play in the league, you can use this template for pretty much any mine build that you're going to run on low life as well. It's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Uh, you know, there's nothing crazy here. There's no crazy cluster jewels. This template will work on most things that are mine related. It's just going to take some tweaking on the skills, depending on the type of spell you want to run. And then basically you're just going to be changing your uh, wrath to anger or to uh, whatever the other one is, uh, hatred. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, and also the item that you're going to change is just the imbued one. Everything else will stay the same. Um, anyway, uh, this tree will be in the description. And uh, like and sub if this gets you over the line and gets you some ideas. But until next time, bye.